Thank you, Lieutenant. Will you fill up the tip tanks? Yes, sir. Thank you. I'm Major General Dissisway, Commander of the Flying Training Air Force. Did you ever think what it takes to train the man who flies today's Air Force planes? The notion that a Superman sits at the controls is erroneous. Any intelligent American youngster in good health, possessing the will to succeed, can become a jet pilot. In training, he will go through a program that demands concentration, stamina and precision. He flies the finest and the safest military equipment in the world today. He has a sense of pride and satisfaction in knowing that he is receiving the best the nation can offer in training and equipment. The boys we pin wings on today are the best that have ever been. On them depends the safety of the world. Having seen them in action, I can assure you they will not be found wanting. seen a more dismal sight? It's impossible to describe, Mr. Case. You call out a position of attention, mister. Straighten those legs. Press those elbows in. Roll those shoulders back. Crawl into a good one, mister. What's your name, mister? My name is Cadet Taylor Skip Bell, sir. What's your name, mister? My name is Cadet Cullen Joseph A., sir. Let's hear your name, mister. My name is... Don't whisper at me, mister. I can't hear you. Now, what's your name? My name is Cadet Grayson Kennedy, sir. How terribly sad, Mr. Gase. Most grievous sight, Mr. Morse. Sometimes I ask myself, what is the United States Air Force coming to? What time's your next formation, mister? 11.55, sir. You've got six minutes to get ready for it, mister. Yes, sir. You'd better get moving, mister. About... Hey! Double time. Hey! They might make it, Mr. Gase. If they can take it. They might make it. Joe, what are you doing? I'm resting. That's what I admire. A man who can keep cool under pressure. Joe, we've got six minutes. Ah, kid stuff. Rush here, rush there. Come back with them shoulders. Come to attention. Fall in, fall out. Drop that. Must be a reason for all this. You know, just one, just one. I just keep telling myself someday I'll be 75. That's what I keep telling myself. Kenny boy, just what do you want us to do? Wait. Well, if you get there and I'm not there, you can start without me. My mother writes I shouldn't fly too high with the jets. What she don't know is that I'm lucky if I get to hear one. You will, boy, you will. Says so in the manual. You just gotta be brave. It don't say you gotta be brave in no manual. Hey, you guys better get moving. I'm ready. How do I look? Mister, what did you shine those shoes with? Bacon fat? Oh, man, that's a real shot. Attention, shot. attention. The time is exactly 11.57. 11.57. The day is Wednesday, bright and clear. The menu for dinner is marinated roast beef and aqua strudel. Dining privilege formation will form in exactly one minute and 25 seconds. Hey, I need help. You just stand around jaw, and this is what happens. You can take to these shoes for sure. You know, I have enough trouble dressing myself. Joe. Other foot. They don't give a guy enough time to get dressed around here. To stand still, Hackensack. Well, they can you look real pretty. Delta Squadron, immediate fallout. On the double.
squadron. Who won the last field day? We did, sir! Why did we win? Because we're tigers, sir! Gentlemen, let's hear some of that sacred tiger talk. Say grace in his own manner, return to position of attention. Lower your eyes and your eyes only. Eat up. <laughs> Mr. Cullen, are you feeling old and tired? No, sir. Because if you are, we can strap the fork to your wrist. Do you want gazing privileges, mister? No, sir. What you need is a little discipline, mister. Set at attention. You know what the last word in discipline is, mister? Yes, sir. Suppose you brief us. Sir, the last word in discipline is sir, sir. Very well. Put down that fork, mister. Mister, when you eat at my table, I expect you to eat quietly and mannerly. That does not mean shoveling food in your face like it was a cement mixer. Now, you have three chews and two swallows to get rid of that load. Make a mistake like that again, mister. Yes, sir. Carry on. There's better ways which may be... I've had it. I have had it. Easy, boy. Easy. Easy. I'm going to walk out of here, find that little peacock, and I'm going to bust his teeth right down his throat. Sure, boy. You walk out of here, find that peacock, and bust his teeth right down his throat. Well, give me one reason why I shouldn't. One reason why I shouldn't. I can't rightly say. I'll tell you why. Because when you walk out of here and push his teeth down his throat, then keep on walking right down to the out processing, pick up some civilian clothes, and head for a road sign that says Hackensack. Ah, you're so right. You are so right. But if I can just give him one little belt. Hey, I got an idea for you. My old grandpappy used to sit out on the front porch, just sucking on his pipe. And my grandpappy peeped over his bifocals, and he said something to me I'll never forget. He said, Kenny boy, as you go moseying through life, remember one thing and you'll get along. If you can't whip them, join them. Join them? Was your grandpappy ever a cadet? Listen, I can figure out the celestial navigation, aerodynamics, and the math, but this discipline is rough. It is really rough. Down, squadron, fall out. Here we go. Take these, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Uh, gentlemen.
gentlemen, I understand that there are some here that find the discipline of pre-flight rather exacting. Pre-flight, as you know, is the first phase in a long training program. Some of you are to be trained for the important job of aircraft observer. The rest of you will be pilots someday. For the moment, let us concern ourselves with the pilots. Today, we're going on a mission. And before we get back, I hope you'll understand what I'm talking about. To make it a bit more realistic, could I have the film, please? Take off, 135 miles per hour. That's faster than airplanes could fly in World War I. When you burn one of those down the groove and streak for the blue, you'd better know what you're doing. Knowing what to do is a matter of discipline. That's why it's so rugged here at pre-flight. Flying a jet is your job. The cockpit is your office, and in it are more than 100 instruments and controls, the tools of your craft. They're there for you to use. Before you can fly a jet, you've got to know how to use those instruments and controls, all of them. You're seldom alone up there. You're a member of a team. Lack of discipline can ruin the whole team, perhaps destroy it. This is combat. This is Korea. Here, you're on your own. You've got to discipline yourself. There are no upperclassmen here to keep checking your memory. You must keep your eyes open and your mind alert. You can't relax for a second. Learn in pre-flight to discipline yourself in combat. This will be the enemy, not you. And believe me, when you're working as a part of a combat team, you'll be glad your buddy received the same discipline. It's your only protection against this. Teamwork had a lot to do with the final score in Korea. 18 enemy planes destroyed for every one of ours. Don't forget it. Discipline here can bring you back alive there. Marvel, I don't know how you got here, where you came from. But you ought to steep while you got a chance. This is no dog's life. This self-respecting can ought to put up with this. You better get him out of here before he gets us all hung. You're not gonna get us hung, are you, Orville? Just drawn and quartered. He sure has taken a liking to you, Ken. Words of a feather. Hey, make him get him out of here before we get some unexpected visitors. I don't hit your panic button, buddy. I didn't adopt this hound. He adopted us. Well, Ken, we can't keep him here. Yeah, I know that. I wonder who he belongs to. He sure is a cute fella, ain't he? Look, Joe, he likes you. Hey, get him out of here. What's the matter, Joe? You never been kissed before? Not by anyone as pretty as that. 
Holy cow, here comes Case. I told you here, guys! Come on, here, can you pull well, out? Man, put him someplace! We're gonna get hung! Can't help! You say something, mister? No, sir. Wipe that smile off your face, mister. Wind up your landing gear. I said wipe it off. With your hand. Now, throw it on the floor. Stamp on it. Harder. Now pick it up, mister. Now strangle it. With both hands, mister. I don't hear any noise, mister. I want to hear it die. Is it dead, mister? Yes, sir. Well, what do you have to say in its memory, mister? I want a funeral oration. Yes, sir. This smile was no good. It had no place in pre-flight. It didn't live very long, and, uh... Well, it met a richly deserved end. Um, well, it's better if we bury it and let it be forgotten. And... Uh, May I make a statement, sir? I'd be very interested in hearing it. Wouldn't you, Mr. Morse? I could hardly wait. Sir, I got a bad case of... A barking footlocker. Will wonders never cease? Mr. Morse, how do you suppose that dog got in here? May I make a statement, sir? Go right ahead. I don't know. Whose footlocker is this? Mine, sir. But I put Orville in it, sir. May I make a statement, sir? Noisy group, aren't they? Make your statement, mister, but remember, this is serious. Sir, Cadet Grayson and I accept full responsibility for this. Cadet Cullen is an innocent bystander. All right, mister. We'll take your word for it. But this little caper is going to cost you two hours of drill on the correction ramp. Up, two, three, four, left, oh, right, oh, left. Up, two, three, four, left, oh, right, oh, left. Oh, baby, hip, oh, hop, oh, ring out the hop, oh, left, oh, right, oh, left. Hip, oh, hop, oh, ring out the hop, oh, left, oh, right, oh, left. Oh, baby, hip, oh, hop, oh, ring out the hop, oh, left, oh, right, oh, left. Hip, oh, hop, oh, ring out the hop, oh, left, oh, right, oh, left. How many minutes to go? All right, gentlemen, pick up that step. Forty minutes to go. Ashamed of yourself. Hey, Ken. How do you feel? Oh, man, I'm tired. I'll bet we walk 40 miles a day. Hey, thanks for everything, fellas. But the next time you want to raise dogs, go someplace else. Oh, he was a nice dog. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, what? Oh, oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Up, two, oh. three, four, left to right. Hey, Joe. Yeah? That picture make any sense to you today? Yeah, I guess it helped. Well, look at it like this, Joe. It's rough. But we only got 68 days, 22 hours, 33 minutes, and six seconds left of pre-flight. Oh, boy. One day we'll fly, Joe, all three of us. One day we'll get in a jet and really fly. Yeah, fly. Boy, think of the times we'll have. Yeah. Hey, where do you guys think we'll go from here? 
Oh, we'll go every place, Joe. All over the world. Europe, Asia, thrills, excitement, adventure. Like one time you'll be flying a mission over the Amazon jungles. Suddenly there's a mountain ahead of you. You can't get over it. You're losing altitude. You have to bail out. When you land, you find you're in the dangerous Mato Grosso of Brazil. All around you, there are savage head shrinkers. He head shrinkers? Don't worry, Joe. The rest of us are looking for you. Yeah, but they're looking for me, too. Finally, we find the jungle. You guys see us coming, but the jungle's too thick, and we can't see you. Hey, Ken, we're down here. Ken! Hey, how do we get away? I don't rightly know. But when we do, we all get assigned to a weather squadron in Bermuda. The scenery is right nice. Man, there's enough for everybody. Wow, look at all that female femininity. Hey, who are they, Skip? RAF girls. They're stationed here. Yeah? Yes, sir. The scenery is right nice. As long as you stay on the ground. But flying inside a hurricane to see what makes it go round ain't my idea of a Sunday social. Hey, Skip. You got a date for the dance tonight? Yeah. I finally convinced her I was on duty when I broke those two dates. You better be there this time, boy. Don't worry. I'll be there. Uh-oh. I don't rightly know how you're gonna make it, old buddy. Prepare to dip the aircraft. Oh, boy, it's cold. Come on, Joe, we gotta keep up our spirits. Let's talk about the time you tried to join the Mexican Air Force. Yeah. Oh, no, come on, hey, cut it out, you guys. Don't tell that one. We were coming back from a pretty strenuous training mission over Texas one day, when all of a sudden, Ken and I realized that uh, Joe was missing. He switched his radio to another channel, and instead of following the beam back to the field, Joe was following the music. Up in the tower, they were going crazy. Black Dog 2, over. Calling Your Black Dog 2. Come in, Black Dog 2. Tower calling Black Dog 2. Over. Hey, where did everybody go? Uh-oh, I think I goofed. Where am I? Holy Toledo! I'm in Mexico! Mexico or Iceland? Europe or Asia? That's where you'll be going with Skip Taylor, United States Air Force. Get on the beam right now, you're one of a team right now, and we will fly where the horizon has no end. Send up for action now, here's the direction how you can ride home smooth as a dream. Just get on the beam right now. Up, two, three, four, left, oh, right, oh, left, oh, baby, up. Jockeys of the jet upon the ground all day. I tell you, boys, are very nice up in the silver sky. So listen, I have good advice for those who want to fly. Get on the beam right now. You're one of the team right now. And you'll fly where the horizon has no end. Right now, stand by for action now. Here's a direction. 